Welcome back everyone to our series on systems of linear equations. In this example, we are going to do a system with three variables. Uh, we have an x, y, z, so we have three equations. All right, so first step, let's write this into our augmented matrix. Remember, an augmented matrix would be taking the coefficient of every variable and writing it into your matrix. So we got 3, negative 2, 8, and 9. And we'll have this vertical line here. This vertical line is kind of like that equal sign. It, it separates the variables from our constants, 9, 3, and 8. All right, so the second line would be negative 2, 2, 1, and 3, and then 1, 2, negative 3, and then 8. So here's our augmented matrix. So we're going to do our row operations on this one. OK, I would say the first step would be to swap row 1 and row 3. So we'll do a row swap. Row 1 for row 3. Because remember, what we want to do is we want to turn this into a 1. Because again, we want to have our diagonal of 1s here. So we got to turn this into a 1. And then we want to make these zeros. So that's what we're trying to get. All right, so if we swap row 1 and row 3, then we're going to have 1, 2, negative 3, and 8. Then we didn't do anything to row 2, so we leave that alone. And finally, row 3 is 1, I'm sorry, 3, negative 2, 8, and 9. Okay, so now we've done our first operation. Now what we want to do is we want to turn these into zeros. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to scroll down. All right, so we have two operations going on here. So we want to turn this into a zero. So what we're going to do is take row two. Again, and you always do this. Once you get this to be your 1, this is our pivot point, and turn that into a 1, then you're going to do row 2 and then row 3. These are the ones that you want to change. And then what you're going to do is put row 1 here, because this is our pivot, and then basically the number that goes here is what you have to multiply to the first row so that the numbers cancel. So you have a negative 2. What would you have to multiply to your 1? Well, you'd need a 2, right? Because negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to do row 2 plus 2 times row 1. And we're going to store that back into row 2. And what do we have to do to row 3? Well, if this is a positive 3, this needs to be a negative 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 3 times row 1. We're going to store that back into row 3. All right, we're not changing anything with row 2, so I'm just going to go ahead and put row 2 in right now. I'm sorry, we're not changing anything with row 1, so I'll just put row 1 in right now. Okay, so down here, this is going to be where our work is. All right, so let's do the second row. So row 2 plus 2 times row 1, store that into row 2. And then you just put in the corresponding numbers. So we have row 2 would be negative 2, that would be from here, plus 2 times row 1, which is right there, and that's 0. Okay, actually let me go back. Okay, so negative 2 plus 2 times row 1, that's 0. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put a 0 here. And then we have 2 plus 2 times this 2. So that's 2 plus 4. So that's 6. And then we'll have the 1 plus 2 times this negative 3. So that's 1 minus 6, that's minus 5. And then we have one more. Scroll down a little bit. We have the 3 plus 2 times, and then up here, the 8. So that's 3 
plus 16, so that's 19. All right, so let's go ahead and put the negative 5 and the 19 up here. All right, so we're done with that one. Let's go on to row 3, so we'll start our work over here. And that's going to be row 3 minus 3 times row 1. I'm going to store that back into row 3. Okay, so let me scroll up a little bit. Okay, so we got 3 minus 3 times and then our 1. And that's going to get a 0. And again, that's supposed to happen. So there's our two zeros. Then we're going to have negative 2 right there minus 3 times this 2. So that's negative 2 minus 6. That's minus 8. Next, we'll take the 8 minus 3 times and then the negative 3. Okay, so that's 8 plus 9. That's 17. So we have negative 8, 17, and then finally, we'll have 9 minus 3 times this 8. And so that's 9 minus 24. It's minus 15. Close off the bracket. So there is our new matrix. So let's move on to the next step, which is to somehow turn this into a 1. All right, at this point, um, our, all right, so I want to make that into a 1. So I'm, I'm going to get fractions, and I know that's not going to be that great. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the second row by 1 sixth. All right, so let's go ahead and store that and back into row 2. So we got 0 times 1 sixth. That's 0. Then we get 6 times 1 sixth. That's 1. Negative 5 times 1 sixth, that's negative 5 sixth. And then 19 times a sixth, which is 19 sixth. So yeah, we got some fractions, but hopefully they'll go away soon. Uh, we're not changing anything to rows 1 and 3, so let me just write those back in. So 1, 2, negative 3, and 8. And then 0, negative 8, 17, and negative 15. All right, so now let's, all right, so now this is a 1 now. So now what we have to do is change this and this into zeros. So let's go ahead and do that. 